This is crazy. What? Bro, being a movie lover, he threw the Rambo in there? He threw the Rambo in there? Okay, Drake, you have made me a believer in music videos as cinematic projects now. What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another reaction video. This time, a music video from Drake featuring Young Thug and Future, Way Too Sexy, the official music video. Now, it is number one trending on YouTube Music, so it is a big deal, especially since Drake just dropped his album yesterday, CLB, Certified Lover Boy, which is it's killing everything right now. And this was actually supposed to come out back to back with Kanye's last album, but he decided to drop it last Sunday. So there's no competition for Drake albums right now. You know he's gonna be number one this weekend. So I thought this would be cool and a first for the channel as I haven't reacted to any music videos on here. So if you guys do like content like this, make sure to support the channel by hitting that big thumbs up to like the video. It's the best way to spread these videos out to those that aren't subscribed. And if you yourself aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe and bell notification down below to always get alerted about future videos like this. All right, guys, let's get into my first time watching and listening and reacting to Drake featuring Young Thug and Future way too sexy all right we got a warning headache stomach upset back pain muscle pain stuffy nose flushing or dizziness may occur if any of these effects persist or worsen tell your doctor or pharmacist promptly to reduce the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position that's what i gotta remember to do when i'm doing these damn videos repeat viewing may lead to a pregnancy thank you god bless Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got a freeze frame on that. Drake coming in, flexing on him, literally. And uh, it looks like they're taking that I'm Too Sexy, which was a big hit, like in the 80s and 90s, I remember. It was like always playing in clubs and whatnot. But it was a very cheesy song, like overall. Even the guys that sang it were like really, really cheesy guys. But he's taking it and he's putting a modern flip on it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're getting some flash dance vibes. A lot of sexiness going on. Oh, now we got some animation going. <laughs> we got Popeye Drake right here. Okay. Oh, we went from Drizzy to Lil Rel Howry. <laughs> what the hell is that? Like some CGI or mocap, or how did they do this? And I'm way too sexy to. Oh, that looks like Santa Monica, by the way. And she popped a Tesla now. I'm tripping out on this belly. All right. That's Titanic. This looks like some, uh, uh, this is tight. This is cool, man. I like this a lot because we're getting like different movie scenes almost in like every five seconds. That's cool. I like to see that when they can switch it up and flip around and really treat this like a real production. And Drake has definitely done that in the first minute of this damn video. Way too sexy. That's awesome. This actually looks like some like, Count of Monte Cristo or the Mask of Zorro or some shit like that. This looks like on that level of scene that they're trying to recreate. Yeah, I like it crowded. Hey, whoa. Forbidden plunder. Yeah, like it. Wait a minute. Let me <laughs> look at that. Okay, so it's supposed to be like a romantic cover of, you know, a romance novel. And on the back on the left it says Space Puss. You know what that says? Gr on top it says Aubrey Graham, author of Two Legs, One Peg. Oh, uh, here we go. Some Michael Jackson flavored here. This is crazy. What? <laughs> Bro, being a movie lover, he threw the Rambo in there? He threw the fucking Rambo in there? John Rambo, yes, baby. Okay, Drake, you have made me a believer in music videos as cinematic projects now. Uh, Drambo, thirst blood. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. Oh shit, there you go, Rambo 2, baby. Oh, he's going all full out fun on this one. I'm not even gonna read that name because I'll butcher it. I don't want to be disrespectful, but future. I pop out, get ghosts on a bitch, you don't know where I went. 
And I always liked Future, to be honest. Uh, you know, even though the lyrics don't aren't really relatable or anything like that, he's always had a certain type of sound. I know it's auto-tuned, but he has a flow, a swag to him that's very bouncy. He always, you know, is able to marinate his words with the beats that he chooses. Amazing production, always. And I think he's someone that doesn't really try too hard to step out of that lane, but it works for him. He knows what works. He knows what the people like. And I, for the most part, enjoy it, you know, when it's being played or whatever mood I'm in. And I want to listen to some future. I don't really take it too seriously. Ah, back to the animation. Flex them chesticles. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't even notice this when he looked at the women. <laughs> they got pregnant. Look at it. Pregnant. <laughs> Pregnant. <laughs> Look at the zucchini or whatever she's holding. It goes flying. That's that action. Her best work on her knee. Too sexy for Oh my god. This cinematography is amazing. This is really good shit. Like it's very, very entertaining. Whether you like the music, the song, or not, there's something entertaining about every single scene that I'm seeing in here. And I love production like this when it's in music videos, because it's not just in your face, just people yelling at the camera and whatnot. You're adding a lot of style, you're adding a lot of flair, you're adding a lot of fun and movie references, which is like right up my alley so that's awesome to see cool choreography too this is like a right here this scene looks like some kind of in sync or a backstreet boys type where they're all dressed in white like out in the middle of the desert the white sands Is that kawaii yep that's definitely the backstreet in sync boy band type of move right there Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Ooh, real damn sexy on him. <laughs> this is like one big commercial, one big advertisement. <laughs> hey, he knows how to be entertaining, man. Jeffrey Lamar Williams is young thug. Another artist that I actually really do enjoy, and he grew on me. At first, I really hated a lot of the stuff that he put out and it was just annoying. I, I will be honest, I don't know. For some reason, it took a long time for me to like Young Thugger. A lot more features and a lot more projects that came out over the last couple of years, I, I became a fan. I saw you begging, oh, they're doing a calendar. The set design and all of these look so damn cool. This must have been an amazing time to be on the set. I will say that. How long does it take to make a video like this, I wonder? Because this is scene, there's scenes after scenes after scenes, and we're four minutes into it. I, I'm sure this, I'm sure this took weeks to make. <laughs> this is kind of a weird scene right here, just him going off inside of a tanning booth or something. I pray to the chopper on my pillow, to fairy. Just let the beat ride out, huh? Oh God, that was good. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, that was my first time checking out Way Too Sexy, the official music video from Drake, Young Thug, and Future off of the CLB Certified Lover Boy album out now everywhere. And this was a great, great music video because even if you don't like the song itself or Drake, you have to watch it for all of the homage that he pays in this music video, guys. This is crazy that this is my first music video I'm reacting to on this YouTube channel. And there was so many movie references in this music video. That's awesome, guys. So I just got lucky on that one. So right out the gate, we got the references to like sitcoms. It almost looked like a Family Matters title screen that we got the names introducing our rappers to the music video. We also got the Rambo, which was Drambo. <laughs> I thought that was freaking awesome. So we got to see him busting off guns, shooting missiles. That was great. I love all that stuff. We got to see him on a boat with a girl that was almost like a Titanic, Monte Cristo, Mask of Zorro type of vibe. And I thought that was really, really good. Now, this was also the first time I heard this song and I thought everyone did a really, really good job. More notably, Drake, he really knows how to ride a beat. Like I said, Future, he knows how to ride a beat in his own style. And Young Thug is kind of up and down when it comes to some of the songs that I really do like or don't like from him. And I thought he did just okay on this one. I've definitely heard other songs that grabbed me to 
liking the song a little bit better than this one. So overall, these guys did a really, really good job. This song is very, very satirical in nature because they took a hook that I believe is from the 80s or 90s of a corny ass song and they made it something really, really cool because the beat itself is very, very bouncy, kind of dark in tone a little bit, but it's a banger. And I can imagine bumping this in the car and just not having to worry in the world saying, I'm too sexy for my car. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I'm giving this video a solid four out of five saying I definitely recommend checking this one out. Once again, if you don't like the song, that's cool. I think you guys will like the video and the visuals and the girls and the choreography. I think we're all on point as well. So those are my thoughts on Way Too Sexy. You guys let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And if you guys did appreciate my reaction, let me know by liking the video. It's the best way to support the channel. And it does spread these videos out to those that aren't subscribed. And if you yourself aren't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe and bell notification today for more reactionary content like this. All right, guys, till next one, I'm gone. Peace.